and welcome back to Starfish Online. It's great to have you guys join me again for another week and I hope that you're all doing really, really well in your homes. I hope also there's some positive things that you've maybe been enjoying in this situation too. It's been great to have some of you send us pictures of the crafts that you are making at home and we're gonna take a look at some of them now before we launch into our craft for this week. Last week we were making a coat for Joseph and also his prison cell. Maybe some of you even tuned in to Illuminate and saw the story. If you'd like to hear the rest of that story, we're gonna be following it through uh, over the next few weeks of Illuminate Online as well, which you can find on our YouTube and you can find on the church Facebook page. Um, and you'd be very welcome to join us there. We also have some games there and we also have some funny little sketches for you to watch as well. But let's take a look at the crafts you guys made last week. First up we have these two fabulous looking coats by Chloe and Iris. They're very, very colourful. I can see exactly why Joseph's brothers might have been jealous if this was the kind of coat that he was wearing. Um, and they're really well coloured in as well. Thanks for sharing them guys. And here is a very sparkly and glittery looking coat by Addy. It really catches your eye and Joseph's looking pretty happy with his coat. And not only did they build a jail cell for Joseph, they also put me in jail too. How oh, could you, Addy? If you made a coat for Joseph but you haven't sent it to me yet, I'd love to see it so you can send that to me if you would like and we can put it in a future video. But for now, I'm gonna change my t-shirt, I'm gonna mess up my hair until it is crazy and I'm gonna head to my craft room. One of the best bits of starfish that I'm sure you guys are missing is the snacks. Isn't it great when we put the blue tables uh, out and we get them nice and clear and we say it's time for snacks and we get to eat some raisins and biscuits and breadsticks and have our drinks. We're gonna uh, do a craft today that will help us and become very useful for when we're having our snacks at home. Um, I've been watching lots more movies and as a result, I've been having lots more snacks. And this craft is going to be perfect because it's going to give us a nice, easy way to hold our snacks. Now getting my fingers messy. And it's also going to be pretty useful in convincing people that we're eating healthy snacks when we might not be. So for this craft, you are going to need some scissors, you're going to need glue, you're going to need some tape, well, either glue or tape, and you're going to need some green card or paper and then you're also going to need some orange card, preferably card. Um, this is red because I didn't have any orange. You could get white card and colour it orange in your own way. You can also decorate this to look more like uh, what it's going to turn into, which is a carrot by the way, we're going to make a carrot. And the first thing you're going to do is you're going to cut a big semicircle out of your orange card. So you should have that when you are finished. Nice big semicircle out of orange card or whatever it, kind of card you're using. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to roll the card into a cone. So I don't really think I don't really know if I can do this in the air, but we're going to roll it. And keep rolling and keep rolling and keep rolling. Keep rolling, roll high until you have got a cone which hopefully looks a bit like a carrot shape and this is when your glue or your sellotape comes in. I think that sellotape is going to be more useful for this but I also think that sellotape will look a bit more messy on the outside. Pritt stick might not quite cut it but the scissors will. Pritt stick might not quite work that well so you might need a stronger glue that's faster drying um, but failing that you can use tape. I lost the end of the tape. There we go. And I'm also going to stick on the inside as well. Then you are going to get your green paper or card and you're going to cut. Uh, well, it's up to you how big you want to make it, even what shape you want to make it. I've made like a sort of rectangle with mine and I'm just going to cut a very slight angle so that it's not quite a proper rectangle. And then I am going to hold this end and very carefully, because they're scissors, I'm going to cut up like this. It 
seems a bit like a cone maybe. It does that. And this you can scuffle up if you like to make it look more natural. And then you're going to get your tape again or your glue again and you are going to stick the green paper to the inside of your orange cone. You stick it in there and there you have it, a carrot! Now I've got some healthy snacks here. I like to munch on cashew nuts. And they will go in there and so I can sit and I can eat my cashew nuts. Mm. But this is the best part. If you've got any sweets or leftover mini eggs from Easter, you can put those in your carrot cones and you can sit and look like you're eating a carrot and being nice and healthy. When actually you're eating a lovely pile of mini eggs and no one will ever know. So that's our craft for this week. Do let us see yours, send us some photos, and we'd love to showcase them next week. I hope you enjoyed the craft. Do send us pictures of what you've made. We would love to see it, and we would love to post it on next week's video. But now it's time for some songs. films about space. I particularly like Star Wars. I've been watching some Star Wars cartoons this week and so I thought we could sing Three Little Men in a Flying Saucer. Three little men in a flying saucer flew round the world one day. They looked left and right but they didn't like the sight so one man flew away. Now let me get this straight. Three men were flying then one of them flew away, well that means there's two left, right? Two little men in a flying saucer flew around the world one day. They looked left and right, but they didn't like the sight, so one man flew away. Okay, okay, okay. There was three, and then one flew away, so there was two. And now one more has flown away, so two minus one is, well, just one, right? One little man in a flying saucer flew round the world one day. He looked left and right, but he didn't like the sight, so one man flew away. That one man flew away. That last lonely man in his flying saucer flew away. no men in flying saucers, which is probably a good thing if you ever saw the movie Signs. You know, it's been quite a long time since I went to visit old MacDonald on his farm, so I think maybe we should go there and see what animals he's got there. Now, when I've been out walking, I've seen a few of old MacDonald's animals. I've seen his cow, which makes a noise like moo. I've seen his dog, which makes a noise like woof woof. And last time I went walking, I saw a very weird looking bird called a pheasant, which makes a noise like So they're the animals we're going to sing about today on Old MacDonald's Farm. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O And on that farm he had a cow, E-I-E-I-O With a moo moo here and a moo moo there there a moo everywhere a moo moo Old MacDonald had a farm E-I-E-I-O What was the next one? Oh, a dog Old MacDonald had a farm E-I-E-I-O And on that farm he had a dog E-I-E-I-O With a woof woof there and a woof woof here Here a woof, there a woof, everywhere a woof Last one was a pheasant. Our old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a pheasant, E-I-E-I-O. With a kikiri kikiri ki here and a kikiri kikiri ki there. Here a kikiri kikiri ki there a kikiri kikiri ki everywhere a kikiri 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 ki. Our old MacDonald had a farm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
we're going to sing one of the bobbing up. But first I want to tell you about some people who inspire me to play the guitar. These two brothers are from a band called Oasis. And as you can probably tell from the sort of songs that I play on Starfish and the way I play them, I'm a big fan of this and they've inspired me hugely. So today we're going to sing Wind the Bobbin Up, but in the style of Oasis. And the main way to get the style just right with Oasis is any words that have the letter I and the sound I in them, you have to make really growly and elongated. So we're going to sing Wind the Bobbin Up. Wind the Bobbin Up, Wind the Bobbin Up. Oh. Oh, clap, clap, clap. Wind it back again. Wind it back again. Oh, oh, clap, clap, clap. Point to the ceiling. Point to the floor. Point to the window. Point to the door. Clap your hands together. One, two, three. Place them gently on your knee. Let's sing it one more time. Wind the bobbin up. Wind the bobbin up, oh, oh, clap, clap, clap. Wind it back again, wind it back again, oh, oh, clap, clap, clap. Point to the ceiling, point to the floor, point to the window, point to the door. Clap your hands together, one, two, three, place them gently. I think we can play it one more time. Get your wines ready. Wind the bobbin up, wind the bobbin up. Pull, pull, clap, clap, clap. Wind it back again, wind it back again. Pull, pull, clap, clap, clap. Point to the ceiling, point to the floor. like Oasis. I think Liam Gallagher would be very proud. Every time I just see a couple of pictures of him and he just, I just see a potato. I'm not going to sing Sleeping Bunnies this week because somebody else has sent in a video of them singing it. So you can sing along with them instead. This video was filmed by my sister and my mum and my dad in their lockdown home. I hope you enjoy it. See the little bunnies sleeping till it's noon. Shall we wake them with a merry tune? Oh, so still. Shh. Are they ill? Shh. Wake up soon. Hop little bunnies, hop hop hop. Hop little bunnies, hop hop hop. Hop little bunnies, hop hop hop. Hop hop hop. Hop little bunnies, hop hop hop. Hop little bunnies, hop hop hop. Hop little bunnies, hop hop hop. Hop hop hop. That's all we've got time for another week of Starfish Online. It's been a pleasure and a privilege having you join me. I hope that you'll be joining me next week as well. Don't forget we've also got videos for Illuminate tomorrow night. And we've also got Sunday morning services, which any of you would be more than welcome to join. But other than that, Starfish will be on next week and I look forward to seeing you there. Take care, look after yourselves and have a nice week. Bye!